Welcome back. Jonas Elrod one day woke up and could suddenly see and hear angels, demons, and ghosts all around him. Now, the film Wake Up told his true story of his soul-seeking journey to find some answers. Now he's setting out to hear other people's stories on a new original TV series. I'm here to talk about the new soul-stirring series are producers Catherine Yunt and Clarissa Seaburn. But first, let's take a look at a clip from the upcoming episode this Sunday. So you know Amanda's story. Amanda was a woman involved in the Aurora, Colorado shootings, and she lost her uh, soulmate, Alex. I think in Amanda's case, she's starting to have, uh, for lack of a better word, metaphysical experiences. Well, we've both had those experiences ourselves, so metaphysical means beyond the physical. And now we have Alex in the non-physical. So it's an appropriate term to say I'm having a conversation or contact with somebody in the non-physical. It happens very often after you lose a loved one, and usually in a dream, which I call a visitation. It's very real. One thing that Amanda talked about was she was so terrified that the relationship was over. Well, if you think of love as being eternal, it's never over. It's just transformed. And so part of our challenge of those left behind here in the physical is how are we going to identify our relationship now in a new way? But the relationship continues. Absolutely. And that's the piece that keeps us connected. And that's the way that we connect with our loved ones on the other side and even how we're supported and get through the events on this side is our loving family and our loving friends. It's that connection that helps us heal. Wow. So ladies, uh, we're obviously hearing uh, this upcoming Sunday, this particular story, but the series kind of takes on several different stories. Tell me how you all got involved uh, with Jonas and the stories that you'll be telling. Well, I was part of the Wake Up documentary with Jonas, and from a discussion of his breakdown and his breakthrough, we talked about integration. What do you do? How does it change your life? How do you move forward? And how are you a different and better person because of it? And from that conversation with Clarissa and I, Jonas, and um, he had already a connection with the OWN Network because Wake Up had filmed on Super Soul Sunday. It was their debut. So we talked and collaborated and came up with this idea of let's see how other people who have some kind of life-altering event get through it. And I feel like we did get a nice little taste from that clip, but will you talk a little bit about the premise of the series? Go ahead. Uh, the idea is breakdown, breakthrough, integration. People have all kinds of life-altering events, and what is it that makes them resilient? How do they move through it? What kinds of resources and tools and people, therapies, do they use? And how do they come out the other side? What makes people recover from these different events? So we chose candidates, eight different people who had a variety of events, and specialized on techniques and therapies that help them resolve those issues. And I know you just mentioned uh, breakdown, breakthrough, integration, and that's actually something that you, you tackle in all of the, the episodes. Is that uh, a common theme? Yes. We do them in three acts, basically, where we talk about what was that individual's breakdown, how, what aha moment, what awareness did they have as a result of it, and then finally, the most important piece, the integration piece, how does that change you? How does it change your thinking, your feeling, and how you relate to the world. Mm. Now as a viewer watching, what are you hoping that the viewer is going to take away? What message are you hoping to send? Well, I think from an educational piece, we're hoping that people discover there are therapies and tools and people and processes that they might not have been aware of that could be helpful to them. So more of an educational piece of, oh, that worked for them, maybe that could work for me. And I know we actually have several ties uh, in these stories to Arizona. There's, there's a number of them. Um, one will be airing, I think, next month. That will be uh, Karen, who was the mother who lost her children in the plane crash in the Superstition Mountains. Um, another will be um, an ASU graduate who has cerebral palsy, and her walk through her experiences and, and what she's learned. Um, so there are a number of, of uh, Arizona connections. And to piggyback on what you were saying, um, some of the take homes that we're hoping that are going to happen is although we can't relate to each individual uh, event, 
we can definitely take what it is that they have utilized in trying to integrate their healing into everyday life. And that is probably the most important aspect of any healing, is to be able to do that, to continue on. It doesn't have to be uh, the same traumatic event that's happened to you, but you can take those feelings and use them in your own life. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's a great uh, mention to, to tell us. Thank you, ladies, so much for uh, telling us more about this and allowing us to see the clip that will be airing uh, this Sunday's edition. Um, in Deep Shift airs at 1 p.m. this Sunday on the Oprah Winfrey Network. For more information, you can call 480-262-7123 or log on to innerknowing.net.